In this video, I'll be beating Minecraft with a huge wolf army beside me. Why? Well, because it sounds fun. Also, you know the drill. Every YouTuber does this. Here's the statistics and here's an animation I wrote from YouTube telling you to subscribe. Thank you. So, I spawned with a spruce forest in front of me, but went to the other way to find a cave because I'm just so smart. After upgrading my tools to stone, I found a mob spawner with some bones in it. The rest of the day was gathering resources and looking for the damn wolves. Hey, look, some iron. The other day, I found a village that had food and shit. Yes! Finally found the wolves. My seven bones will totally feed the two of them. Might as well go kill myself. I went to the caves to gather more iron and went back to the village to cook it up. Ladies and gentlemen, we have got full iron, decked out and pretty badass. I do not have any bones because that wolf took all of the ones I had. That greedy little fuck. So it was time to kill lots of skeletons. An hour later of literally just recording footage that might not go into this video. Please, for the love of God, subscribe. I got some more bones that have to force at least one wolf into an army. A another portal ruin. It did not have anything super great, just like my life. I slept through the day and while writing the script, I thought, why did I do that? I guess I was just ready to find the wolves without any challenges. I went on Twitter to ask my son followers for an army name idea. No one responded, so I named the army Big Mama's House. Two. Coming to theaters January 27, 2006. Yes, that's a wolf of I've ever seen one. Seven bones have to force this one into the Big Mama's house to army. <laughs> After another hour of boning skeletons, uh oh, I got myself, drum roll please. Nine bones. Now if I fail this time, I'm ending the video. And if you see more than a minute left on the video, that means that I tamed the wolf. And guess what? Your father tamed a wolf. I will call this wolf the mighty, the great, the cunning Jeff Bezos. I don't have a clue what I'm doing, but I'm just <laughs> I'm just having the time of my life. I had to wait until nighttime to get more bones and finally get a second wolf. Yes, we have finally got the second wolf. I will name it Bruh. Guys, I know it's not funny, I'm just in a good mood. I forced Jeff Bezos to have a baby. <laughs> I got three wolves into my army. Now it's time to get resources to breed those wolves in a friendly sibling way. Sweet home Malabar. Is that five wolves? From now on, I will stop counting. But you get the point. Big Mama 2 army is growing fast. They were wrecking the mobs one by one. The Ender Dragon will fear us. I made a hangar type thing. I don't know what I'm talking about. I made a base which will store all the wolves because I was scared that they will die. Yes, the army is growing faster than ever. More food equals more wolves. I love how it was turning out. Now I'm going to eat lunch. While I'm eating, watch my wolves grow. Wow, that was fast. Oh shit! On the night of advancement, we lost two comrades. This day was the day I realized that keeping these wolves in place will be a worry, but we will not stop fighting for freedom. Because as the saying goes, there will be no freedom without blood. That was so corny. I went down a hole to build myself a portal. I took some wolves with me to scout for the enemy base, or as they call it, the Nether Fortress. Oh my. No. I spawned in a cave. I had to become a mole and dig out the hole to freedom or enemy territory as I would say. And finally died to the most stupidest thing ever. One thing Minecraft Hardcore taught me is to not die. So, I died. When I came back to the portal, the wolves were gone. So, rest in peace. After traveling for quite some time, I finally found the nether fortress, but I did not have anyone to bodyguard me. I had to go in by myself. I finally got the blazes and everything was going so great. Hey, that's an indicator from my little hole I dug out. It resembles my di- I thought of farming Enderman, but then I realized that it will take hours and started to look for some piglins to trade my goods with. I was back at the fortress and boom, I died the best way possible in the actual fortress. I took some wolves with me to survive, but of course some men sacrificed their lives for their dictator's loot. Yes, I'm a dictator, but the wolves love me, so shut the fu- That day four wolves passed away. I will call this battle the breakthrough. Oh my god, so cheesy! I was walking back and of course had to accidentally look at the Enderman. Life is fun. It was time to raise the units in the army. I was spending a lot of time preparing. I started off by killing zombies, pigs, scouts, sheep to heal and make more soldiers that will be accompanying me on this last battle. I cooked up some food for myself too. I have standards, goddammit. More animal killing. More animal killing. More animal killing. 
more animal, animal kill there's so many wolves i know we'll have to wait for them to grow but i'm just saying there was a lot of them i finally trapped in a pigling and a ender pearls now i had to find more gold and trade with him boom trading time is over and would you look at that we have a 16 eyes of ender the rest will be getting prepared for the inevitable death of the filthy dragon. Fed some more wolves and made a separate hole for the children. Cannot wait for this to get taken out of context. There were so many wolves. I had to make someone a commander. With the vigorous commander title I present. Oogie Boogie. You will be the new commander of the Big Mama 2 army. Okay, I killed more animals, more animals, even more animals. Okay, get the point. I forced the wolves to have more children and knock knock. Who's there? Another time lapse. There was more wolf breeding, but these times were one of the last ones. I needed another commander. This time, it was none other than the cunning Kanye West. I don't have a clue how this guy got in here. After only a matter of seconds, the iron golem died from my wolves. It was time. On the way to the stronghold, I was still making the arm bigger. Yes, no matter if you are a child or not, this fight will be the final one and the most intense one. Of course, some men had to die because of their stupid or that one water hole. Seriously, what did Minecraft developers think? I traveled, traveled, and traveled through forest and shit. The end of the journey was in the village sleeping in the bed for the last time. Holy shit, that's a lot of them. I hit the golem to see if the wolves could take him out really fast, but I made a mistake. I lost some men just because I wanted to have some fun. It was my fault. Well, might as well make up an apology video and get a lot of views. The eyes of Ender finally stopped. It was time to go deep and find the stronghold. Finally found the stronghold. I don't want to bore you with details, so I'm just skipping to when those stupid wolves were jumping into lava. I blocked it off and it was time, the final battle. Blood was rushing through me. This is the day we get back freedom. What? Well, what the fuck? I left and joined the game thinking it was a glitch, but no. It was very embarrassing, but it's all right. This video would go to waste if not the wolves joining the battle. So I have to say this. I went to creative and spawned approximately the same amount of wolves because why not? Also, I cheated by getting arrows. I I'm sorry. The stakes were high, but the wolves gave me so much protection from the Enderman. Thank you, wolves, I guess. Oh, shit. The Ender Dragon got me to two hearts. I had to dig a small hole to heal myself or I will be saying goodbye to my wolves. But I did not think about one thing. Now I really had to say goodbye to those wolves. No! Stop, stop! Stop, 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 stop! It was too late. I was only left with a few of them. This explosion was the most heaviest one. But I will not stop fighting. I could feel victory. Finally, the Ender Dragon will know what is right. When my axe broke, I had to get my crafting table. But that mob scum exploded it, and I did not have any wood to craft another one. I had to use anything in my hands. It was a pickaxe. I tasted victory. I knew it was coming. His health bar was low. Oh, they just came back. Well, I guess I have to delete the video then.